but we're so close to it that we don't consider that this is life and this is our breath and that's what's tying us to life. Finalement, on est très inconscient du processus de notre respiration et que c'est juste ça qui nous maintient en vie. So if that's the case and my karate is a manifestation of my physical energy, then it makes sense that my breath would be driving my physical energy. Donc, la respiration doit vraiment être le, 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 le moteur finalement de, de, de toute votre énergie physique. But what we tend to see a lot is when people punch, they sort of hold their breath. I was watching you guys, especially when you're thinking and trying a lot. When you're trying a lot, you tend to kind of hold your breath. You see, people aren't breathing. And then all of a sudden they'll breathe later. Or if people kind of want to breathe, they'll, they'll kind of hold their breath in the movement and then exhale at the end. They're sort of misguided in thinking that's what happens. But what you want is you want your breath to be the first thing that happens. So when I'm punching, it's my breath that releases my movement. Les gens ont tendance à, à vraiment retenir leur respiration et à la limite à, à, à relâcher la respiration uniquement à la fin de la technique. Alors ce qu'il faut, c'est que la, la respiration soit finalement le départ du mouvement. So my, the pressure of my hose together, when I squeeze my, my spray attachment, that's my breath. That's what's, what's releasing my technique. My breath is releasing my technique. Donc il y a la compression et en fait c'est la respiration qui doit, re, qui doit relâcher, qui doit lancer votre technique. So in slow motion, my, my kime is an exaggerated version of... Ah, oh, that feeling. It's like a release. Oh, and my breath is releasing it. But I don't go... Donc vraiment pas la respiration à la fin, c'est vraiment la respiration qui doit initier le, le mouvement, qui doit relâcher la technique. On respire d'abord et on fait le technique. Go. Like if I had a bow and arrow and I'm pulling back, that's my preparatory position. And my breath is the letting go. That's what makes the si vous aviez un arc et une flèche, vous tendez et c'est yeah. au moment vous respirez, c'est yeah. là que ça part. So you're moving internally before you're physically moving, because you're breathing first. Your exhale releases your movement. Releases my movement. Donc le mouvement est interne d'abord parce que vous respirez avant de relâcher votre technique. So the punch is actually a state of, of, of letting go. It's like it's not mustering up tensionness. It's a state of letting go. Et finalement, faire une technique, c'est like euh, laisser aller. C'est surtout pas tendre. Le départ d'une technique, c'est laisser aller. Make, make it done by hand, eh? And we're going to make, we're going to drive a punch. And what I want you to do, instead of thinking of, I want you to think of, ah, oh, that feeling. And your breath is, is a compressed version of ah. Oh. 